Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of my Utah Jazz My GM series here on my NBA 2K14. In this episode, we'll be going up against the Phoenix Suns. And we are 27 games, well, 500. So this will be the second to last episode before the offseason. I will show the last game of this season against the Los Angeles Lakers, I believe we play. In the next episode, then we'll have the offseason because we're not making the playoffs. And this Phoenix Suns team isn't too good themselves. I believe they're... I'm trying to think. I think they're the second to last team in the in the whole NBA, and we're the last team. And but they don't have that bad of a team. They have a young team. They have Eric Bledsoe, still have Eric Bledsoe. They still have Goran Dragic. They have Gerald Green. They have a lot of young players and rookies. They have Raheem Christmas, Archie Goodwin, James Michael McAdoo, and they still have Alex Wen. And right there, you can see Gerald Green hits a three to give them a 13 to 11 game. And Gerald Green is their main scorer. You all see in this game. And now Alec Burks hits a nice contact layup to make us only down by three. And also in this game, we gave a lot of the role players and bench warmers a lot of minutes just to see what they could do to see if we might release them or try to give them a new contract. And the trade deadline did pass. We didn't end up trading Alec Burks. No one really wanted him. So I think I'm just going to let him go into free agency because he's going to ask for a lot of money. He's asking for like six, I'm trying to, four million a year. Yeah, that's what he wanted. And James Michael McAdoo hit a nice two right there. And you, I don't, I'm trying to think, um, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, the bracket did end. Well, no, not the end. The first quarter ended right there, but the NCAA bracket is in the Elite Eight as of this video. Two games were played yesterday of the Elite Eight. I believe Florida beat Dayton, and Wisconsin did beat Arizona, and my bracket wasn't too good. I did really good in the round of 64. I did pretty bad in the round of 32. I did okay in the Sweet 16, but my final four teams were the Wisconsin Badgers, the Syracuse Orange. That didn't work out too much. I had the Louisville Cardinals and the uh, Michigan State Spartans. I had Michigan State versus Louisville in the ch championship game, but Louisville got knocked out to Kentucky, so that didn't work out. So right there, you can see Gerald Green catches the pass. He pump fakes and finds Miles Plumley, who they also have at a Duke, and he gets his own rebound and puts it back in. And you can see in this game also Jay Crowder right there hits the three. He had a nice game. So did Patrick Mills and Jude Gooden. Three plays we did sign this year. Right there, Victor Oladipo pump fakes, finds Trey Burke for three. And it is good. So now we're down by... Actually, we're tied right now. 51 up. And now the second quarter is coming to an end. Patrick Mills drives. Finds Alec Burks. He pump fakes. He's driving. He finds Drew Crowder for a long two. And it's good to go. And now we have the lead by one point. So now we're up by two. And now we hit Brandon Rush. who hits the three. Everyone's contri contributing in this game. So now we're up by five. The second quarter is coming to an end. Alec Burks is going to take the last shot. Behind the back, and it is no good. And we are going into halftime with a five point lead. It is 59 54 Utah Jazz. Derek Favors is happy with the lead. And Chris Bosch was injured in this game, so you won't see too much of him. And right there, Eric Bledsoe so throws the nice alley oop two miles from me. I can't talk to it. And then Jay Carter gets a nice steal, and he's driving up the court, and he finds Gary Harris for the long two. Jay Carter did prove in this game how I might want to re sign him. To make him our backup small forward with two backup Victor Oladipo. And right there, Miles Plumley posterizes Chris Bosch. That was one of the few clips that you all see of Chris Bosch. And there you can see in the key replay, Miles Plumley dunks over Chris Bosch. But right here, Trey Burke finds Chris Bosch. He gets a little revenge on Miles Plumley and hits the and one over him. Nice play by Chris Bosch to finish after getting hit by the foul. And now we are going to be tied up all at 78. And then Victor Oladipo, a nice pass from Patrick. Mills and Victor Oladipo slams it home with a two-handed dunk to give us an 80-78 to lead. A nice dunk by Victor Oladipo, and he's hyped after that dunk. And then Victor Oladipo drives, he finds Jugun, who also had a nice contribution in this game. Now we're up by six, and the third quarter is coming to an end. We're still up by six, and now I believe that's Archie Goodwin drives, spin moves, and he gets the end one. I thought that was going to be a charge, but it wasn't. And it was the foul on Victor Oladipo. That was his third. He later hit the free throw. And now we're only down by one in the third quarter. It's coming to end. Rakeem Christmas step back jumper. That was nice. Right on Alec Burks, I believe. That was a nice shot by Rakeem Christmas. I believe he went to Syracuse. Now the third quarter is coming to an end. Joe Green's going to take the last shot. It is up, but it rolls out at the rim. So we're down by five now. Going into the fourth quarter. And we need to take back this lead that we once had and we were down by nine at one point and we were up by seven at one point i believe so now we're finding ourselves in a five point deficit now we need to get the ball to gary harris who gets a nice layup i thought that was gonna be blocked but no it was hit and now we're down by three so now we're down by five and Derek favors hits a nice post move shot over miles Plumley to give us 
Now we're only down by three points. And now we're down by five. Patrick Mills. No, that was Trey Burke. And he finds Gary for three. And now we're only down by two. Gary Harris did do a lot scoring this game. And he helped us back, getting back in this game. And now Trey Burke finds um, believe Alec Burks. And Alec Burks finds Trey Burke. And he hits the two-pointer. Uh, the long two-pointer. And now Alec Burks calling for the pick and roll with Derek Favors. And he's just going to drive to the rim. And he gets the layup to go. And this team also has Marcus Morris and Alex one another, both two young big men. And now Patrick Mills finds Alex Burks with three and it's tied all up at 106. And now with about a minute left to go, we need to play defense. And we did get a stop, but we're down by one. Now we're giving the ball to Gary Harris. And Gary Harris is going to call for the pick and roll. Chris Bosh comes over the pick. Gary Harris finds Chris Bosh, who gets the left to go. And we're down 10. Actually, we're up 109, 106. Excuse me. And now all we need to do is play defense right here. One stop wins us the game. Marcus Morris finds Eric Bledsoe's pump fake. Now with the shot clock's winding down, he's going to have to throw up a shot. And he is fouled by Chris Bosh. No, he's fouled by Patrick Mills. But Chris Bosh was over there, and he hits both his free throws. So Rudy Gobert in the inbound. You know who we're going to give the ball right here. We're going to give it to Gary Harris to get us the game-winning shot. All we need is a two-pointer. But Gary Harris has nowhere to go. He f calls for the pick and roll, but the pick doesn't come quick enough. He has to throw up a bad shot. It's up, and it is good. Gary Harris is the game-winning shot to give us a 111-110 victory over the Phoenix Suns in Utah on St. Patrick's Day. There you can see I got hit achievement for the buzzer beater. And there you can see Gary Harris is celebrating with the Utah Jazz teammates. And we're going to send the fans home happy in Utah to give us a one-point a one a one point win by Gary Harris. By Gary Harris. Uh, sorry, can't talk. And he hits the shot for the win. I'm just going to show you the stats in here. Gary Harris had 30 points. Shaver had 15. He had a double double. Nice contribution. I had Jay Carter and Drew Gooden. They had 11 and 10. And that'll be it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.